what's good my fellow natiba slayers it's a black kuno ichi type of day yes it is this is the brand new drip and boy is it crazy shift up came through with a free update if you haven't already upgraded your game please get to it you're gonna have to install this and once you do oh my god you're gonna instantly be able to pick these amazing fits up i have a guide on how to unlock all of them on the channel already most of them are already going to be in your inventory as soon as you log in and then others you're going to have to go to roxanne to go pick up my favorite right now out of all the brand new fits is definitely the midsummer red hood it's wild you know it if you know you know and i'm currently packing up all the different enemies in the boss rush challenge that we have that was given to us in this update so if you haven't already peeped out my onslaught of me getting slapped up by some of the craziest bosses in this game, then go ahead and check the link down in the description below. Yo, those playthroughs are going to be pretty wild. Some of them are taking me hours. Other ones are like seconds. It just depends on the boss, for real. And the ones that have taken me hours are going to surprise you. They surprised the hell out of me. I can't believe it. But anyways, right now I'm about to take on this boss. If you have not taken on the boss in the wasteland in this area just yet, go ahead and slam this video into your watch later section. Come back to it at a later date. But this is a pretty early game boss, so I don't really feel it as too much of a spoiler, but that was your spoiler warning. All right, if you're locked in, let's get it. This is Gigas. And the reason why I want to fight Gigas is I want to show you guys the brand new nerfs that have been applied to the game via this update. It, yeah, nerfs. It nerfs. Let's talk about it. So, they nerfed us to hell. There's a couple of things that are just no longer a thing. So, you're still able to walk into a fight with however much beta you had before. That is still amazing. And then you're going to gain beta as you attack the enemy, per usual. Dodging and all that stuff is going to get up your burst, per usual. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm being real fancy right now. If you haven't already seen it, which I don't think I've finished the edit yet. So yeah, I packed up Gigas hard mode, yeah. Or no, I packed up Gigas using the E protocol, which is the worst way to fight this man in the game right now. Just letting you know, but he's super easy. In order for you to get beta in this game now, you really have to put in a whole lot of combos. Or you have to be wearing that specific gear to really get the benefits of it. Which is fine. I mean, that's kind of way that they intended it. Jesus, you are being so... You know what? Sit down. Alright, so that still stun locks the enemy, which is good. But you see that damage that it's not doing? It's kind of sad. Ain't gonna lie. Like, it's kind of shocking. I can't believe how bad it's gotten. You see, Gigas, you need to stop, okay? The people don't have time for that. But anyways, so Shockwave has been nerfed. Another move that has been nerfed is Tempest. I don't feel like it hits like it used to. And I just put my man in phase. Not yet? You're not in phase yet? Really? 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 This is what we're doing? Can you just go into phase? All right, he's in phase. If you don't know what that means, he's about to flash yellow and start getting more beautiful. Okay, there you go. He got it out of system. Now... You're allowed to kill him as intended. I'll show you Tempest real quick. It stuns him up a little bit. It lays him on his back a little bit like it's supposed to. Of course, if you get off a shockwave, you're still putting him on the floor. It does decent damage, but it's not the same damage. Before, I'm telling you right now. Whoa, that was aggressive. Why you gotta be like that? Why? Why? No, that's not what we do. We have an agreement here, Gigas. Lay there. Think about what you've done. Stop. Okay, anyways. So, it's pretty crazy. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Gigas here is acting out. He's showing out. Like, he's having a temper tantrum. I don't know if he's mad about the upgrades or not, or if he just didn't want me to tell you about it, but I have to talk about it because, you know, it's a single player game. I don't want nobody touching my single player game. And since he wants to just try to fold me up, let me pack him up real quick so he just sits there. Stop. Anyways. So, as you can see, Tempest has been nerfed a little bit. Some of the other moves as well, they do not lock up the enemy like they used to. I used to be able to stun lock the hell out of enemies a lot easier than I can now. They resist it or they just continue fighting. I call it attack armor. 
it's like as soon as you throw out an attack, they can just completely pow through it, like plow straight through it and continue attacking you back. I know there's a term for it. Let me know what that term is in the comment section below because it always just completely drifts out of my head. I call it attack armor. I know that doesn't make sense, but to me, it makes sense. So every time I swing at an enemy, they can just take the hit and then they slap me up. That. It is annoying and it's worse. Like, even if you do some of the special abilities, like, for example, the R1 square. This used to stun the hell out of them very well. It would make them have that black, like, blood type effect and it would back up for a little bit and shiver. And then you could just get in a nice little clean combo right there. Like, it was always amazing. But now, that's not the case. When you're using, like, the R1 square or, let's see, what's another one? The R1 triangle. Oh, my God. Both of those moves for burst, they just do not stun the enemy. It's ridiculous. But let me get the actual term. So, descending break no longer stuns. And punishing edge, it no longer stuns. Tempest has been nerfed. And Overdrive, for me, this is one of my favorites, but now I feel like it's not really valid. Like, you get that insane increase to melee attack speed, so it really helps you get out a lot of combos in a very short amount of time to stun them if you can get it off in time. But I don't know if they nerfed this or not. Haven't been able to test this enough to see the difference. But Tempest, yeah, it feels different. There's some bosses that clean ignore Tempest. I'm gonna show you some footage of the boss challenge right quick. Yeah, there's enemies that clean ignore Tempest. Whereas before, when you launched Tempest, it was you was just completely safe. There was nobody that could attack you. He was getting healing from it. You couldn't take any damage. You had guard armor. It was absolutely amazing. It was just the perfect ability. Now, they can actually attack and kill you while you're in Tempest. And some bosses will even go out of their way to cancel out their current attack and switch up to another one to kill you instantly when the Tempest effect goes off. It's kind of wild. I'll show you gameplay on it on screen. Like, they've really upgraded the AI to do different things. And... The boss rush challenge is different. Those bosses are built different. This guy right here, I packed him up easy, but my build is built like that. It's a beta trance type exospine MK2 with the chain type. Everybody always telling me, why you rock chain type? It's because you see me. I put out a lot of combos, even in a boss fight all the time. It doesn't matter what boss it is. I'm putting out combos, but, and I have this combat continuation gear, which was wasted on this boss fight. I don't recommend you doing this. Switch this out with like a crit upgrade or maybe even a beta charge or something like that to get your beta to go up a little bit faster if you use it. But the perfect attack combat gear is what's giving me my attack that I need alongside with the double edge MK2 and the regular double edge. I'm already used to the effects of protocol Eve minimum. Protocol Eve minimum is 91% percent uh, melee damage reduction is pretty bad mine is minus 95 at all times and this is just the build that i'm used to now so that isn't really scary to me what's scary to me is this right here when you take off this damn nano suit apparently there's no shield protection i never ever knew that okay i never knew that and that to me is wild it is wild what that means is if you do not perfect parry every single attack that you guard up can damage you and most of the time will damage you and some of them will kill you it just depends on how exactly that enemy is feeling today if you haven't already gotten it uh, you need to go get it roxanne is holding one of the baddest suits in the game like this thing is woo this is fire but anyways let's continue talking so yeah honestly i'm just gonna be real with you the nerfs are kind of crazy shockwave being nerfed is kind of wild the triplet it not stunning like it used to is kind of crazy to me it hurts my feelings i used to triplet on something 
and stun it up and then get off some extra combos you can't do that anymore some bosses just clean ignore it and attack you straight through it now it's kind of wild like you can if you get the original hit off then it backs them up for a little bit but then they can instantly rebound and come back and mess you up so i feel like the game is a hell of a lot harder than it's ever been is that a good thing for me personally i needed a challenge so yes i'm here for it and a lot of us in the community were saying oh my god and new game plus hard mode this is nothing blah 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 now they actually made it valid they actually made it a mode that makes sense and gives us a little bit of a challenge so at the end of the day i cannot complain about the changes that were made because it was the adjustments that needed to be made in order for the game to be hard or to at least feel hard they could have just you know made a new game plus plus where every single new game plus that you do it gets you know harder each time that would have been amazing that would have been the greatest update but i guess they just decided that nerf us a little bit and if you have the right build then the game for you is easy if you don't have the right build you're probably gonna get slapped up that is the changes that i have noticed so far for the game let me know down in the comment section below some changes and some switches that you've seen for this game i'm loving it still it's still my favorite damn game of the year this is gamer this is gamer this is game of the year to me and it's going to remain in that slot until somebody can dethrone it and i don't see nobody in the near future maybe Erd Tree. i don't know hold me hold me to those words maybe Erd Tree can come through and really pull out all the stops and knock this out of the park but we're just gonna have to wait till we get there for now stellar blade is the queen on top of everything every game out there right now and i'm really glad to have such an amazing community alongside it i love you guys so much i hope you guys are having a great day this is gonna be all for today's video it's been your boy emma Emsons hd you already know what to do if you love the videos and make sure you smash the like button sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on more content for stellar blade because we're still here and we're gonna be locked in the boss challenge mode i'm gonna be in that every day trying to knock out all them bosses i'm really excited to show you that content as well but that's gonna wrap up this one you already know what it is i'll see you guys in the next one it's your boy emma Emsons hd for Nato. I'm out of here.